वेलकम टू साइंस ट्री चैनल एंड टूडेज टॉपिक इज सॉलिबिलिटी इट्स फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स क्लास नाइन्थ सो बेसिकली वट इज सॉलिबिलिटी सॉलिबिलिटी इज समथिंग वेन वन सबस्टांस गोइंग टू बी डिजॉल्व इन टू अदर इन सच अ वे दैट दे फॉर्म अ होमोजीनियस मिक्सचर विद ईच अदर सो लेट स्टडी मोर अबाउट इट so the word solubility defines as the number of grams of the solute dissolved in 100 grams of solvent to prepare a saturated solution at a particular temperature is called solubility now let's define one by one that what is solute we all know that the substance which is present in the small amount in a solution is known as solute while the solvent the substance which is present in more amount in large amount in the solution is known as solvent now we have to dissolve the solute into solvent to prepare a saturated solution and the word saturated refers like in common words we can say there is no more space for example if i say this class is already saturated and we don't have the space for the new students it means that the class is already accommodated and we don't have space for the other students similarly the amount of solute is sufficient for the solvent dissolve into the solvent but there is no more space for the more solute but always remember that it can only be happened at a particular temperature here we can say that at a particular temperature we can dissolve some amount of solute into the solvent to show you the solubility but definitely if i raise the temperature if i will increase the temperature the amount of solubility will increase then i can dissolve more solute into the solvent so whenever we have to memorize or we have to remember the definition of solubility don't forget to write at a particular temperature as we know that whenever we define something we have to give some standards so basically these particular temperature the grams of solute in 100 grams of solvent are the standards to make a proper definition so the number of grams of solute in 100 grams of solvent to prepare a saturated solution at a particular temperature is known as solubility general principles of solubility includes like dissolves like now it's quite easy to memorize it definitely we make our friends which have same attitudes or which have some thing related to us like we are more comfortable with the persons who matches with us in the same way substances do like in like dissolve like polar substances are soluble in polar solvents now what are the polar substances it's very easy to memorize the word polar means poles and the poles means corners positive and the negative ends you just have to memorize it in such a way like if i talk about polar it means poles and the poles means corners okay north west east south what are these these are poles in the same way in chemistry we have positive and the negative poles so polarity means all those compounds which have positive and negative ends present in them now what are that compounds no doubt ionic compounds because in case of ionic compounds we know 
there is a complete transfer of electron from one atom to another atom. It means that one is giving, one is losing, getting positive corner and the other is accepting, getting negative corner. In this way, a very definite pole formation takes place in ionic solids. So we can say that ionic solids and polar covalent compounds are soluble in water. Because water also have poles, hydrogen is a small positive atom and oxygen is highly electronegative atom. So in this way, like dissolve like. Polar substances are soluble in polar solids. For example, potassium chloride, sodium carbonate, copper sulfate, sugar and alcohol all are soluble in water because they all have poles, they all are polar substances so they got dissolved in water. Now in the same way, non-polar covalent compounds or the non-polar substances are dissolved in non-polar solvents. Please remember that ionic compounds are quite simple. Definitely, there is no other thought. In ionic compounds, there is complete transfer, so they have the poles. But in case of covalent compound, we have two types. What are they? Polar covalent compounds and non-polar covalent compounds. So it means that in covalent compounds, although they are formed by sharing of electron, but still, there are two types. One is polarity and the other is non-polar. Non-polarity, okay? So in case of polarity, it means that there is partial distribution of charges between the atoms. <clears throat> or we can say that there are two different types of atoms are combining, although they are sharing. But there is slight positive charge on one atom and slight negative charge on the other atom. Like we can take an example of sugar. But in case of non-polar compounds, it means non-polar covalent compounds. So, very common example. Gases. Cl2, H2. The both atoms are same. So, definitely, as the both atoms are same, there is no polarity. A very little polarity or we can say no polarity. So, the non-polar compounds are not soluble in water. Such as ether, benzene and petrol are insoluble in water. So, where will be the non-polar covalent compounds going to be dissolved? Quite simple. Non-polar covalent substances are soluble in non-polar solids. Again, like dissolves like, such as grease, paints, naphthalene are soluble in ether and carbon tetrachloride. As they all are non-polar, they will gonna dissolve into each other. Now, what are the factors which can affect the solubility? No doubt, the most important one is temperature. Solubility increases with increasing the temperature. But remember, not always. There are some salts which also absorbs the temperature and they are endothermic in their reactions. We will going to discuss them later on in the coming videos. But basically, solubility increases with temperature. As we increase the temperature, the solute will become more soluble into the solvent. Polarity, we discussed it. Polar dissolves into polar and non-polar dissolves into non-polar. So in most cases, solutes dissolve in solvents that have similar polarity. Pressure. Yes, solid and liquid solutes in liquid solvents have no effect with pressure. 
प्रेशर डजेंट अफेक्ट सॉलिड एंड लिक्विड सोल्यूट इन लिक्विड सोल्यूट वाई बिकॉज ऑलरेडी द लिक्विड एंड सॉलिड सोल्यूट हैव टेकन मिनिमम स्पेस इन द सोलवेंट बट इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द गैसेज वी नो दैट गैसेज ऑक्यूपाइज ऑल द अवेलेबल स्पेस when gas is a solute and liquid is a solvent then pressure affects with increasing the pressure at that time when solute is a gas and solvent is a liquid solubility increases and what about molecular size bigger the atom lesser will be the solubility quite simple they are inversely proportional to each other stirring yes mixing continuous movement no doubt increase the speed of dissolving so these are some major factors which you can write when you are simply talking about solubility i haven't explained them in a deep way but they are quite enough if you are just giving the answer of what is solubility at that time you have to show that what are the properties on which solubility depends and what are the factors which can affect solubility a very important question last but not the least is solubility important in our everyday life yes solubility has many practical applications in our lives such as purifying water making drinks and vitamin storage and no doubt there are many more which we have to do in the kitchens we have to dissolve so many things while during the cooking as well so in this way it's all about solubility thank you so much for more videos keep watching Have a great day